lot of unexpected situations. Okay, we're passing on a double yellow intersection. Remember, we're planning our ride. The mistakes of Interesting the turn. Ooh, just because just because they went doesn't mean you go. Oh no! Why do you think that rider crashed? Oh. Write it in the comments. Write it in the comments. Write it in the comments. Some of the best gloves on the market are Lee Park Sumo gloves. Okay. So anyways, here we go. We're going to be going around this. Remember, when it comes to uh, intersection from being orange stage because we specifically identified a hazardous situation. Remember, part of planning our ride is locating hazardous situations. We got corners, intersections, uh, and then different patterns. So side of the vehicle, open lane, uh, basically head-on condition. You don't want to have that issue. So we're coming up to here. We're following our group. Okay, we're not stopping. We have a vehicle right there. I have a feeling that rider that did go into the intersection saw the vehicle too and was like, oh crap, and accelerated. So what happens when you accelerate really hard in the middle of a corner? Write in the comments. I'm not gonna give you this one. This right is our third video of the day. Then right. And then we're gonna try to Flintstone it by putting our feet down. Doesn't work, everybody. Keep your feet on the pegs, mm -hmm. okay? Really navigate. We target fixated probably towards that tree. We wanna target fixate towards our exit, okay? We wanna target fixate on the lane, okay? Target fixation isn't a problem unless it's used wrong. It's a tool. Oh no! So there's the dump. So when we talk about mechanism injury, we have our left knee. That doesn't look like it's gonna be motorcycle 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 specific jeans. We just talked about that, everybody. Are you good? We have armor in our pants. There it is. Ouch. Yeah, I'm all right. Okay. Hopefully not a patella break. Patella break, that would suck. You got it. Thankfully, she is utilizing a Cardo Pack Talk Edge right there. Links in the description if you want to grab yourself a Cardo Pack Talk Edge. Hey, ZX10, how you doing? How you doing, Deb? It's good to have you here. Oh, you're welcome, Cloud9. Yeah, we're good. So good. Remember, remain calm, ensure your own safety. So get out of the road. We had a little accident. We're trying to get cell service to call her. Had a little accident. Usually I say that after a bad night of ice cream, but we're not going to talk about that. Let's move on. All right, Rick, going through a corner. Watch out. Oh, dog. Oh, gosh. Whoa. Yeah, didn't know what happened. Happened too quick. That was a close one. Whoa. It's never a dull moment around here. Challenging your conditions make right. somewhere. Chicken strip pro. The turn and the rider passed the oncoming car by almost. So intersect or not intersect corners. Ooh, why are we bouncing? Why is it? Why is the bike doing this? Why is the bike doing that? Write in the comments. Into the turn and the rider passed the oncoming car by almost a few inches. Why was it doing that? So this third video is gonna be your little quiz. Okay. We don't have a lesson after this one. Dash, Dan's chickens. Dan's chickens, here we go. Oh, we're gonna go ahead and, there we go. Get that rear tire slipping and sliding. Start ripping off with all that rubber. Just don't dump the clutch. Ah. Lost the traction. Lost it. Too much rear brake on the last one. Start panic brake on that last one, huh? Going a little too fast in the corner. Came unstable, abrupt maneuver in wet paint road. A lot, just a lot of work on, on here, only 10 minute break, unfortunately. But hey, thank you, Deb. Thank you for being here. Hey, we got a Yeti cup. It's not a Stanley. It's not a Stanley. Have you guys been seeing those Stanley cups? They start, they got like backpacks for it. I don't know. I think some women are using it as a surrogate for a child. All right, so let's go and take a look at this one. What should we be practicing on this? What's the practice that we could be doing here? What's the practice that we can be doing here, everybody? Tight turns, tight turns. How do we practice our tight turns in a parking lot? How can you practice your tight turns and, and your U-turns and your intersection stuffs? And I don't know what I'm talking about, but right here, we have the Smart Rider Drills. Links in the description for the booklet. If you are an MTC Rider Academy member, you could download it. Um, it comes with the membership. But yeah, clutch control. So what are the main objectives when it comes to the tight turns, U-turns, all that kind of stuff? Clutch control, throttle control, head and eye movement, body position, so you want to counterweight. With this one, there's some direct steering, so we're going to direct steer. Look, let's go ahead and get this up here. You know, yeah, there we go. So we're going to go ahead and direct steer, look, 
We're going to counterweight and then feather that clutch and throttle. Okay. We're going to get ourselves through there. Remember, using our vision, the target fixate is really, really important. Really, really important. Right here, we lost some balance. So right here, I think what the problem was is that we stalled and then also not enough counterweighting. It's a big bike. It's, it's for a, it's a heavy bike, so you're going to have to do a little bit more counterweighting. Put a little bit of weight on that outside peg. It will really help. So always practice your tight turns. Yes. There you go. Side stand down. Lift it. Yeah, you usually come from the back and then lift it up like it's a deadlift. And then it's going to land on that side stand. All right. So we're going to be passing this open lane pattern. Watch out. Fortunately, some now it's not. We're going to pass over. We have another open lane pattern. Be careful with everything on the sides. We're good. We're back in yellow stage. Another open lane. We're in slow-mo now. Person uh, got super duper close to us, kind of like a D-bag move. They're going fast, let them go. Don't catch up. Now we're gonna put ourselves in a position of Jesus. a little bit. No. Don't, no. Stop, Jay. Uh, we're going super fast, possibly get an issue with cops, possibly not, po we're not paying attention to what's in front of us and what we're supposed to be doing. So we might be missing road oh, surface no. hazards. We might be messing up our braking, not looking for patterns. And now we're starting to get agitated, which is going to affect the rest of our ride. It's just not good. It's not good. Adrenaline? What, is it? what did he say? I don't care. No, we're good, buddy. Turns his radio out. Not that I can see him. You see how the ride is completely changed for this person? See how the ride is just done? I like the ride to have fun. I'm not a. I thought I thought he was wearing a thong for a second. I thought he's. I thought he was wearing a thong. I was like, this has got some white. He's got a white booty. No, okay. So let's just watch. Anyways, why am I looking right there? I don't know. I'm not a. That's the camera angle. You will be. Road surface hazards. We got cold. Oh, hit some ice. We're hitting some ice. Wet tires now. Ooh, try to keep it straight. Don't apply too much brakes. We're gonna use our feet as skis. That can work. It seems like it worked. Hey, bikers, how you doing? That's a scary situation. So being able to see the discoloration in the road. So right here, look at the road surface. It is a certain color. Certain color, it's, it's gray, it looks like asphalt. When you start seeing way ahead of time that it's like black, like just looks like it's wet. Let's start slowing down now while we still have some traction. You will be. Because then when we get to this point, right here, applying brakes is gonna be a tough thing to do. So we're gonna put our feet down. Use it as skis, stabilizers. All right, here we go. I just can't reach the ground with both legs on my bike. Lane decided to turn right, giving no chance to- Got a pack talk. Link in description for a pack talk discount. Oh! Hey, that could have been worse. That could have been way worse. Hi. Okay, here we go, another view. Where are we at? Person cut out. Oh, terrible. I would not have anticipated that, but in that situation, accelerate and swerve if you have to. Accelerate and swerve. You're going to have to do it quick. Let's take a look at this right here. So he looks down to look at the mirror. Not a problem, right? Weren't anticipating this. Let's take a look at the other view. I don't know why he's looking at the mirror. Maybe just looking behind him. But as soon as you see those tires cross that line, you have to do something. You're going to have to escape. You're going to have to go into red stage, do something. Either accelerate out of here, apply some really good progressive braking. Progressive braking might have saved him in this situation, but you have to do aggressive progressive braking. And the only way you're going to know how to do that and what you're capable of, uh, not just what you're capable of, but what your bike is capable of, uh, capable of, uh, capable of is uh, go to the parking lot and practice. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Use that middle finger too. Don't just use like this finger. Use that middle finger too, because the middle finger has a lot of strength. A lot of strength, okay? I like using these first two fingers because you keep your hands on the, the throttle right there and the first two finger, fingers and just kind of squeeze. And then once you get that weight transfer, you start feeling that weight transfer, you can squeeze even harder. 
And then once you squeeze even harder, you have more weight, more traction. You can squeeze even harder. And that's why some people have, uh, they do some stoppies sometimes. Definitely not recommended doing that. But what we're trying to do is buy ourselves some time. Here's our space cushion, right? We don't have an amazing space cushion, but we're trying to buy ourselves some time and break, 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 break. Hopefully this vehicle is now over here. And then we can accelerate and swerve if we had to. Okay, so we're just trying to buy ourselves some time. We're not trying to stop, but we're trying to buy ourselves enough time. We have that angular crash. And if we had to, we could have accelerated and swerve out in there. Still dangerous, but we got to do what we got to do. And part of being a smart rider is acquiring using personal protective equipment. So make sure that we're being a smart rider. Just in case something like that happened, we're on the ground. Can cars lane split? Yes. Technically, this is at a stop, so it's lane filtering. Might not be legal where you're at. So typically when you see this and cars are just like backing out into the road, they're just trying to like push themselves in a position. I have no idea what was happening there. What I do like from this video is that he's riding an amazing looking, is this an Indian scout bobber? Is that a scout bobber? Yeah, I think that's a scout bobber. It's got the matte black. It's a beautiful bike, huh? Everything else I don't care about. This video is kind of, this clip is a weird one. So get yourself uh, a heat gun. Take off that sticker. All right, I was cruising around with uh, the MT-09. Scared. Okay, cruising, you're going 130. They can't see you very well. Oh, is this kilometers per hour? Yeah, so 130, right in the comments, uh, convert the... 130 kilometers an hour into America units. Please. Whoa! I don't like people that pass me like that. Then again, I'm also not riding like a, like that. All right. GG NYC, here we go. This situation perfectly illustrates why it's essential to have the right gear, especially with such confident riding. The rider was really lucky to come clip -ons. It without major complications. Going pretty fast through a congested area. Ooh, why do you think so he was going 80 America units? Cool. Why do you think he crashed? Why do you think he crashed? Now let's take a look at the bike. This looks like an older Evo, right? This looks like uh, he's got low bars. They're not clip-ons. He's got low bars. I it might be an 883. And they don't typically have ABS. These Harleys do not typically have ABS. So, what do you think happened here? The rider was three. Does he have like a dent in his head? Straight, why it's essential to have the gear, especially with such confidence. Wear a helmet, dude. The rider was really lucky to come. Might not be his first accident. Complications. There's the brakes. You can see the brake lights. Didn't hit anything. He felt the gravity attacked him. The gravity attacked him. He washed out his rear tire. He slammed that rear brake. Slammed that rear brake. And that caused that rear tire to wash out. So there's not enough traction. Remember, when we apply uh, any braking, so engine braking, rear brake, front brake, whatever it is, we're trying to do progressive braking for the most part. But what happens when we apply the brakes is that our weight transfers to the front. So our front tire is what's gonna be making the most contact. That rear tire, it's not necessarily gonna do this, okay? So here's the front tire, here's the rear tire. It's not gonna do this. But what's happening is that the weight's gonna shift more on that front and that rear tire is not gonna have as much weight. So if the tire is not, in the back's not gonna have as much weight, it's not gonna have as enough, enough traction to really stop you. I accidentally hit the mute button. That's why on motorcycles, the front tire and the front brake has the most braking power. It's usually 80-20. You want to use all so you can get all 100, but you don't want to give it 100% uh, rear brake, 100% front brake. You want to give it a little bit of rear brake, a lot of that front brake using progressive braking. So when we add that weight on the transfer, more braking, more power, more traction, all that stuff. So when car drivers typically move to motorcycle, I need to get rid of this. Sorry, I got this other thing. I'm not using it today. I keep looking at it. Clip over here. Um, um, 
That's why car drivers, when they switch to motorcycles, they're used to using that front, their right foot from the, the gas pedal to the brake. So they just put a lot of weight on that, that brake. And what's happening is that our rear brake is our right foot. So people are like, smack. Not good. Practice. You have to change up your habits. So there's a lot of tumbling, full body issue. I don't even know if he hit the taxi. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Rescue him if you want to. Remain calm, ensure your own safety. Good job. Pulled off to the side. If he's starting to bleed out, that's not good. That's why we have our trauma kit. It's on sale right now, 25% off. Check it out. Link's in the description. You get a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, yeah, definitely, man. Might want to check it out. Oh, uh, Harley, Harley riders always bring tools with them. Huh? Oh, you cut your arm a little bit. Yeah, I'm good. You gas your, your arm a little bit. You can't get it out of gear? Look at that thing. Oh, yeah, it, it definitely hit the, it hit the taxi. Yeah, it hit the hit. It, you're not moving that thing, dude. You're not moving that. It might still be in gear too, so pull that clutch. Leaking oil. Put your kickstand. <laughs> your fork is leaking oil. Put, dude. It's bleeding. His bike is bleeding. Um, probably still in gear. That's why it's not moving. So pull in that clutch. And down. So you could uh, just don't step in that. You'll get slip all over the place. Okay. Thanks for the advice, buddy. All right, here we go. Intersections, orange stage. Watch out for anybody pulling out. Where's Ooh, you were supposed to go left, I believe. Oh. You weren't supposed to do that. Good job with the braking. Handled it. Handled it. Oh, regarde, hein. Faut regarder, hein. Watch out. Oh. Hey, so this is what I'm talking about. Hey, once you get through a situation, so right here, we just got through this. Achievement unlocked. We solved the problem. Doesn't mean there's no more problems the rest of the day. There could be literally a problem right there. So once we solve this, reset, reset yourself, look for new problems, have the solutions. Uh. So we're looking over here like, oh, we're still within the same problem. We already finished it. We already finished it. What's up this? Yeah, right there. You almost hit them. What are we doing here? Oh, lui, il a pas compris, lui. <laughs> okay. Hop là. Eh ben, je peux pas reculer, ouais. je peux pas you can't, reculer, hein. you can't pedal backwards. We're not flintstoning it backwards here. Moto, je... it's, it's much easier to go forward. So the problem with this one is that we went into a position where line of sight is a massive issue for any other vehicles. Also, we can't see around this vehicle. You want to put yourself in a position to where you're much more on this side so that you actually can see around and so people can see you too. So the fact that we went over here, I don't think that was smart, especially if we were going to make a different decision. So let's take a look at how he started. So, yeah, we went more right. Instead of, like, peeking out. And I use the example of when I'm in a haunted house of, you know, peeking around corners just in case there's that scary scarecrow with that chainsaw. Hopefully they took the chain off, but I'm looking around corners, and if I don't see anything, then I go. Um, if I'm with others, I push them in front of me so that they get attacked first and then I run, but always double check your corners and then go. Just a bit impatient, yeah. It's gonna take a look. Thankfully they moved back. It's, it looked like he was on a hill. I wouldn't be able to uh, flintstone it back. Oh, c'est bon, t'as deux secondes, là. Yoppa. All right. Bien joué, hein. Look forward. Okay. Okay. What do we got here? We got somebody merging in front of us. We're in the blind spot, man. Whoa! You see a honk in the horn doesn't really help. Either accelerate or apply the brakes so you can get yourself out of that situation. There we but go. we're in the blind spot. That nope. wasn't good. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Don't get oh, hit in the rear. You got two upset. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. <laughs> Take it easy, man. <laughs> Handled it, dude. <laughs> Handled it. This guy is on drugs. What is happening? 
he's intoxicated. He's under the influence of something. But he handled it exactly the right way. Uh, as a firefighter, one of the things that we would do, or at least I would do, cops sucked at this. But whenever we had a drunk patient, try to, pre- okay, think about this. Pretend you're their best friend. Pretend you're their best friend. If you're out drinking with buddies and you're, let's say you're the designated driver and your buddy's just hammered, you're not over here like trying to use logic. They're pure emotion at that point. So you're really like, hey, buddy, yeah, having a great time. Hey, let's go ahead and take off. Um, I, I'm going to drive. Hey, we don't need any more. Hey, you're, let's have a good time. Let's go ahead and drink when we get home and then you pass out in the car. Uh, maybe throw up. That would suck. But you're, you're just trying to be their best friend. If you really try to like, hey, I don't like this, they're going to absorb that information and they're going to just say, I don't like this either. But now they're going to escalate it because they're drunk. And that's what happens with cops. Whenever we're on a, a, a drunk patient, I'd, I'd be hanging out with them and be like, hey, I'm just going to check your blood pressure. No, I don't want to do it. Like, oh, come on, man. Let me do it. I, I, how, what's your name? And I would just start having a conversation, get their blood pressure, start getting their blood glucose because who knows? They could just be a diabetic. Um, but then a cop will show up. And they'd be like, oh, you've been dr- how much you've been drinking? And they start getting pissed. And now you start getting, st- it's just a crappy situation. So when this right here, Ducati New York City vlog could have been like, get away from me. And then this guy could have con- gotten violent. He just wanted a fist bump. Give him a fist bump, man. What's up? Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Take it easy, man. <laughs> <laughs> You guys can hear that? I don't know. I think my webcam is like is heading on and off. Yeah, drunk people are just children. Treat them like children. Exactly. In a group is never boring. Oh! Shut up! Oh, keep it up. They're talking on their pack talks. Love having a pack talk. Yeah, a little dump of, dump, dump of the bike. Help your buddy out so he doesn't pull his back. Side stand down. Good job. They weren't communicating that they were getting off on the exit until last second. We did it! We did it! No! <laughs> you can act. Okay, here we go. Climate activists met. This might be a new thing that we're going to be seeing much more of. Interesting. So this video is probably going to get copyrighted because those freaking um, juking media people and all that stuff are going to be. Uh, are going to be wanting to like you know take the money from that so guys sign up for the mtc rider academy or become a member by clicking that join button it really helps out the channel all right here we go intersections we have a left turn that person's making a u-turn hopefully you guys can't hear can you guys hear the the system sounds if not cool but i can hear them it's annoying uh so ter- there there's another one so t- making a left u-turn from the right lane terrible spot <laughs> No, you can't hear the system sounds good. I believe I turned them off like two years ago. I just can hear them. All right, so open lane pattern. Good job with the braking, handled that situation. Great job. Thank you, Danger Ranger. Thank you guys for for helping me out here. Diego Alonso. Hey guys, let's see if we can get 250 likes. That means you sign into class. Ooh, came out of nowhere. Find an escape, good job. Thankfully with motorcycles, we can kind of move off a little bit. Okay, what do we got here? We have uh, headlights in front of us. Thankfully they're in their lane. Oh, what do you think he was doing? Look, he's, he's doing this, he's like, he's doing that. So there's probably a hazard there. Maybe that's the bump, is that a bump? Oh yeah, he hit something. This is why it's really important to have Bluetooth communications. The guy in front, really, hey, hazard. Hazard on the right, hazard on the right. Use his hand. Typically use your foot. How you doing, Christy? So it looks like there's a hazard there. Yeah, a pothole maybe. Crappy situation. How much more do we got? Oh, almost done. Almost done, guys. Relax, relax. I'll be editing tomorrow. Okay, merge into our lane. Happens. 
happens. I never trust intersections. That's why I wait till we're on a straightaway like this to finally get myself in the position that we need to. Okay, passing on the right, not very smart. Unless, are we riding an e-bike? I don't think so. Oh, look at this guy trying to cut me off. Ooh, ain't that I'm assuming he's riding a Ducati. <laughs> now he's trying not to look at me. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. But anyways, we got okay. We got one more. Here we go. Bye, bye, Karen. Okay, so we are in a roundabout. So he's looking where he needs to go. That person's not paying attention. We we saw that was happening, so we handled the situation by applying some good progressive braking. Good job, everybody, making sure that we're paying attention in class. But um, once again, we have rescue packs on sale for 25% off. So you might want to check it out. I see one of you guys have gotten one, so we're going to be shipping that out right now. Uh, link's in the description for that. But with that said, hope you guys ride safe, be safe, and uh, grab yourself a slice of pizza and get out of here.